Hi, everyone. I'm Susan Brady. Thank you for joining me today. When it comes to maintaining strong bones and preventing osteoporosis, most people focus on diet, exercise, and supplementation. However, one critical aspect that often goes overlooked is sleep. Quality sleep plays a vital role in health, and both too much and too little sleep can have detrimental effects on your bones. In this video, I'm gonna explain how sleep impacts bone health, the risks associated with sleep imbalances, and how melatonin can be a valuable tool in promoting better sleep and supporting your bone health. So during sleep, your body undergoes various restorative processes that are essential for not only overall health, but also bone health including bone remodeling. So bone remodeling is the process by which old bone tissue is replaced with new bone tissue, helping to maintain bone density and strength. And this process is regulated by hormones that are secreted during sleep, including growth hormone and melatonin. Now research has shown consistently that getting less than six hours of sleep per night can lead to decreased bone mineral density and increased risk of osteoporosis. And this is because inadequate sleep disrupts the normal hormonal balance, leading to lower levels of growth hormone and increased levels of cortisol, a stress hormone that can accelerate bone load loss. So a study published in the Journal of Bone and Mineral Research found that a short sleep duration was associated with lower bone mineral density in women, increasing their risk of fractures. On the other hand, getting too much sleep over 10 hours a day can also negatively impact bone health. Excessive sleep can alter your circadian rhythms and melatonin production. And it's been linked to metabolic dysregulation, which can negatively affect bone health. And some studies suggest that excessive sleep is associated with chronic low-grade inflammation. Melatonin, a hormone produced by the pineal gland, plays a crucial role in regulating sleep-wake cycles. And as we age, the natural production of melatonin declines, which can lead to sleep disturbances. And this is particularly concerning for older women who are also already at a higher risk for osteoporosis. Now, interestingly, melatonin doesn't just help with sleep. It may also have direct benefits for bone health. So research has shown that melatonin has a protective effect on bone cells and can enhance bone formation. There was a study published in the journal Bone, and they found that melatonin supplementation improved bone density in elderly rats suggesting potential benefits for human bone health as well. Additionally, melatonin's antioxidant properties may help to reduce inflammation and oxidative stress, both of which can contribute to bone loss. Supplementing with melatonin has been shown to improve sleep quality, particularly in older adults, by helping to regulate the sleep wake cycle, melatonin can promote a more consistent and restful sleep, which is essential for the body's natural bone remodeling process. However, I have found that some people can't tolerate melatonin supplements. So there are several ways to enhance your body's own production of melatonin, which then can improve both sleep quality and bone health. So the number one way of improving melatonin production is getting morning sunlight. Exposing yourself to natural sunlight in the morning helps regulate your body's internal clock and promotes melatonin production later in the day. So you want to aim for at least 20 to 30 minutes of morning sunlight exposure without sunglasses because the sunglasses will block the light signals needed to effectively influence your circadian rhythm. 
Another thing you want to do is minimize exposure to artificial light, particularly blue light from screens during the evening. This blue light can suppress melatonin production, making it harder to fall asleep. You also want to create a dark environment in the evening. So dim your lights in the home as the evening progresses, and that's going to signal to your body it's time to wind down and help to trigger the natural release of melatonin. You also want to ensure your bedroom is dark enough for optimal sleep by using blackout curtains or an eye mask to block out any unwanted, lung, uh, any unwanted light. You wanna maintain a consistent sleep schedule by going to bed and waking up at the same time every day. That's gonna make it easier for your body to produce melatonin at the right times. And you wanna avoid stimulants and heavy meals before bed. So caffeine and nicotine and eating a heavy meal can interfere with melatonin production. So it's best to avoid them in the hours leading up to bedtime. There are some foods that also naturally contain melatonin and can boost its production. So these foods include things like tart cherries. They're known to be one of the best natural sources of melatonin. Also walnuts and almonds contain melatonin and they're also high in magnesium, which will support sleep. Tomatoes and olives contain small amounts of melatonin. And then bananas are rich in magnesium and tryptophan, which can then help your body produce melatonin. So remember, like diet and exercise, sleep is a critical component of comprehensive approach to bone health. By ensuring you get the right amount of sleep, somewhere between seven and eight hours of, of night, you can support your body's natural bone remodeling process, and that's gonna help you maintain stronger, healthier bones as you age. In my Bones Method program, I'm going to dive further into the effects of sleep on bone health and review all the latest natural sleep remedies. To learn more about my Bones Method program, click on the link in the comment section of this video. Thank you and have a great day.